I don't care. It's one nil. We're fucking down. Thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show. Oh, my days. That was harder than it needed to be. Um, that second half was horrible for me. <laughs> I wish Daniel Farker would just start using his bench much sooner. I mean, yeah, 3-2. Amazing going forward first half. I, I just didn't enjoy the game second half. I uh, don't know if that's just me or you or what, but wow. <sighs> I need to lie down. You know, I need to lie down after that. Um, I was just convinced at that point leads that leads that you know I was going Daniel's going to do two things yeah he's going to wait till we get a fourth then make changes or they're going to equalise and then he's going to make a host of changes I just felt when they went down to ten men the opportunity was there to bring on Nonto to bring on Anthony to bring on Spence and have these fresh legs running at a team of ten men but it wasn't the case and I, and I think we made it a lot harder than we needed to be. We gifted them a goal in the first three minutes. You know my thoughts on Melier. I've started to question my own opinion now. You can change your opinion. The goalkeeping for the first was poor. And at this point now, it's every fucking shot that, that, that goes at him. He's going in the back of the net. This is not good. Hologram hands, you know, flappy wrists, what's it fingers, whatever you want. It's not looking good. It's not a great strike. No, maybe I'm doing him a disservice. It is a decent strike, but it's his near post. It's from far, He's got to be saving it. I was laughing at Andre Anana midweek, but our keeper, whenever a shot's at him, it goes in the back of the net. I'm a staunch supporter of him, but, you know, that has to run out at some point if you continue to give them goals. He wasn't at fault, you know, midweek against Swansea, but we're giving people a leg up. We shouldn't be doing that. You know, thankfully, we, we respond in quick succession. Not once, but twice. You know, their keeper, a lot worse than ours, I will say. You know, the, the defending, Dan James somehow getting in between two burly defenders and, and winning the ball in the air. Some of them doing the same and the keeper putting it in his own net. You know, errors are plenty. To give context, Melia did also do really, really well one-on-one. -on -one. You know, he's great one-on-one. -on -one. That's one area that I don't think any of us can dispute him on. I remember in the Premier League against Saka, he, he defended against Saka. Saka's elite. Do you know what I mean? So there are areas that he is good at. I'm not going to have a go at him for the corner. If you watch the footage, Byron shouts mine, it comes off him. And maybe that's a reluctance from Melier to come. We know he's not going to catch it, folks. He's not going to catch it. He only comes and punches it. And if his defender's saying mine, he stays well clear. But we're gifting goals. I need us to get back to where we got clean sheets. You know, I said... When we get Spence, when we have Byron, them two at centre-back. But Spence is not going to get in. Because for me, again, Gray was standout. Gray was standout. Is there a case for saying, especially when Ampadu, again, did not start well. Again, was poor. Improved in the second half. We had more control in the second half with that being amazing. Um, but yeah, we're just gifting up too many chances. As I said, great going forward, poor defensively today. When you're giving teams a leg up, you're giving them a, you know, the worst, like, the good thing is we're responding straight away because if we don't respond straight away, then we need to be worried because then it's harder. But thankfully, we are. You know, the fact that, you know, it was a, a penalty, Piro scores, dispatches it. That's how you take a penalty, Slim Shader. Big shout out to Pat with his new hairdo. I think he was coming on thinking they might think I'm Mateo Joseph. <laughs> But he didn't do all wrong today. But he wasn't on long enough. He, they should have been on sooner. I genuinely believe that Daniel Farker's uh, inability to make changes will will cost us in some games, in my opinion. I know we've won. I know we've won seven on the spin. But it was a lot harder than it needed to be for me. I think, you know, instead of waiting for that first 11 to score to make it 4-2, why not make changes to go and get the four? Because I am convinced if you bring on Spence, if you bring on Nonto and Anthony and give them 30 minutes, 25 minutes, they will have enough in their tank to create problems for an already lagging defence that's down to 10 men. You know? 
that's my only frustration with it. And the second half was horrible. Like, genuinely, at full time, I was just thinking, breathe, man, breathe. And maybe that's the Leeds fan in me, but I was convinced that we were gonna, they were going to equalise and we'd have been the masters of our own downfall. If we're being honest, they almost did. They almost did. You know, if it weren't for... They hit the post. They hit the post when they were down to 10 men and then rode on somehow manages to block the second effort and it falls into Melier's hands. Strauch wasn't his amazing best tonight that we've seen him all season. The only one who's consistent over the last few... Not two. Is rode on and grey. The left-hand side, I felt, was a little bit shaky today, Byron in included, and, and that's just my opinion. You know I'm a massive fan of his. But, yeah, there are question marks over the goalkeeper. I hold my hands up. You know, I said best in the league, fleeting comment. I believe that. That's now not the case. He's conceding too many, but I still think he's a good goalkeeper. Still think he's a good goalkeeper, and I won't change my opinion on that fact, you know? Um. But at this point, it's like, wow. Because what if we don't instantly respond like we did against Swansea, like we did against Middlesbrough, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. But if we don't do that and a team can, you know, defend for 20, 25 minutes, then them sort of decisions can easily cost Leeds United three points. And we can't afford to do that. Because as, as we've seen, Leicester, again, pick up three points. West Brom, Jesse Marsh tactics from the corner. They should have got a point, but it is what it is. Ipswich, 2-1 at home against Coventry. They don't lose at home. They're a bit like us. Southampton won. You know, Southampton won. And that's your top four for me. The, the others are too consist inconsistent. West Broms, your Sunderland, your Middlesbrough's, those Hull City, for example. They're all two inconsistent people. I think Hull lost today and, and still kept sixth place. So that four that I'm talking about, Leeds, Southampton, Ipswich and Leicester, they're going to pull. They're going to pull away. We need to peg them back, man. And... Look, we've got three points. I, I, I probably should relax a little. <laughs> but I just feel that it was a lot harder than it needed to be. We now go away to Blackburn. I think we can beat Blackburn. I do. You know, it's 12.30. And then we've got Sunderland, which will be a tough game at the stadium alike. Games coming thick and fast. That's why, again, as well, I will say, changes need to happen in games like that. You know? It's, um, yeah, it's frustrating to say the least. I can't lie. Um, but we've we've got three points. James has scored again. Somerville has been great again, causing problems all the time. Piro has scored again. You know, them three now plus Rutter. By the end of the season, it wouldn't surprise me if all four of them are top scorers. Do you know what I mean? What does it take? The goal goal involvements up to now. It was forty one before today. You know, you've got Somerville. You've got a Rutter assist for the penalty. You've got a Piro goal. You've got a Dan James goal. What are we talking? Forty five goal involvements. It's a good job. The attack is as good as it is because the defensive late has been poor, has been poor and needs to improve. I want to see clean sheets again. We we'll probably won't get one next weekend because Sammy Smodix is on fire. I think he's got the most goals in the league. But what, what we need to ensure is that we don't make it easy for Sammy Smodix and we defend resolutely and don't gift up errors. And the goalkeeper doesn't concede from every single shot that he faces. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. It was a mad game. I can't lie. I need to relax. I need to watch it back. I need to chill. I need to listen to some more content and see it from a different light. Because right now I don't feel good and we've picked up three points. But it's more a case of thank God that's over. Like I'm like I'm going in for an operation. That's what it felt like. Nervous in that second half. Just thinking, just get through it. Just get through it. And we came out of it the other end. You know? But it was a lot harder than it needed to be. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, please like the video. We'll have some more content out for you tomorrow. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Peace, peace, peace.